Hi guys, Darth Deuces here, and I'm going to be doing my kind of top 10 Gunpla of 2018 slash my year of Gunpla in review, because um, I want to talk about my experience as well as share my favorite kits that I've built this year. Uh, so I'm really new to Gunpla. I started in, I think, in the middle of September, so I've only been doing it for about three months now. I built a lot of kits within three months. I went kind of nuts, I won't lie. I really ripped through a lot of kits. Um, built a lot and I already have a decently sizable collection uh, so I probably should slow down a little bit um, but I built a lot of kits and I really like the hobby um, building them is really fun and relaxing and then the final products are really cool you basically get really cool looking robot action figures that have tons of gimmicks and accessories it's a really great hobby that I've really been enjoying and I don't plan to stop anytime soon though I might slow down a little bit um, but yeah so it's been great. I've also watched a decent amount of Gundam series, mainly Universal Century. I've almost watched all of the Universal Century I plan to watch. Um, and I've started watching Iron Blood Orphans, which is really good. So I've also familiarized myself with the lore, I suppose, the fandom a decent amount now at this point too. And I've really enjoyed it. It's a really fastly becoming one of my favorite franchises right now. It's just really, really cool. <laughs> Giant robots and doing all that sort of stuff. Where can you go wrong? Um, but first off, one thing I want to talk about is my first build. And that is what you see right here in front of you. This is actually a 2018 kit, or a kit released in 2018. It is the Galbaldi Beta from Zeta Gundam, which I have watched. So I didn't watch, I haven't watched Zeta Gundam when I got this. When I picked up this kit, I literally picked it up because I thought it looked cool and I thought it was in within my skill set to be able to build this. Um, and it's a really cool kit. I think for my first time, uh, it turned out pretty good. I even panel lined it for my first kit. I also panel lined. Uh, and the panel lines are a little messy, but I don't think they turned out too, too bad. Uh, nub marks aren't the greatest. I didn't really clean up the nub marks too well. Um, but this is a great kit to start with, too. It was interesting, but it wasn't too hard to build. Um, it comes with a decent amount of accessories. The posability is pretty great on this. This is a really great kit of 2018, and I think it's kind of underappreciated. Um, you see a lot of people talking about the Moon Gundam and other high grades and whatever that came out this year, but this was a pretty solid high grade that came out this year. Um, if you haven't built it already, uh, I'd build it. It's pretty great. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. And uh, this is my first kit. So I talk about my first kit, I'm also going to talk about my least favorite kit that I built this year, which actually happens to be my second kit that I ever built, which is the high grade build fighters uh, Sengoku Astray Gundam. Uh, and I like I like the look of this kit, or this mobile suit, I like the look of the, of the Astrays, and the kind of this, this one has an even more samurai-esque look than the red frame, uh, which I plan to get the real grade at some point. But uh, this kit just doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. This is one I didn't do a great job on. You can see my panel lining of this kit is pretty bad. I didn't clean up the lines at all, so they're all thick and kind of ugly looking. Um, some of the stickers on this kit aren't the greatest at all, like the stickers on the swords. And the foil stickers for the blades are fine, but the handle stickers suck. Um, doesn't come with a ton of accessories. Posability is just all right, but it's never a kit I look at and it's like, oh, I want to pose this or something. It's just like I put them in one pose. And he's kind of been in the same pose for like three months now. <laughs> so it hasn't really been a kit I really wanted to go back to or anything. It's just kind of like, uh, I have it. I built it. That's kind of all there is to it. Um, it's not a bad kit by any means, but it just it was my least favorite and worst kit of the year. So now I'm going to start off with my top ten list. But what you're looking at right now are my four honorable mentions. They just barely did not make the list. I literally want to add all of these to my top 10 list. Two of these would be in there if I limited it to just one 144 kits. Um, but I did it all scales, so I only built two 100 kits uh, this year. Uh, but these just barely, barely didn't make it. Uh, the high grade Universal Century Sinanju is really great. It comes with a bunch of accessories. It looks really great out of the packaging or out, out of box snap build. Um, the foil stickers actually look really great for it. Uh, Posability is pretty good. It's just an overall really, really solid kit. Um, but there's one, it was either this one or another kit, which you'll see in the actual top 10 list, and I end up going with the other one to put on that. Got the Jesta, HUC Jesta on the far right there. It's a really great kit, but it's one of my early ones, so 
I could look back at it. I didn't clean up the nub marks at all. I didn't even bother panel lining this one. Um, I'm getting the Jesta Canna in probably in a couple days uh, from filming this video. So that one will probably be, I'll put more better work in that. That one will be a lot cooler and better. This the Jesta, no matter which one you get, is a really great kit. In the middle there, I have the Thunderbolt uh, Gundam ground type, which is a fantastic kit. Um, really close to adding that to the list. Just didn't make it. Um, it'd be number 11 for sure. Um, it's just a really great kit. Nice size, great articulation, nice and solid. A bunch of accessories. I love the arm-mounted shields. The beam javelin is such a cool accessory. Just a really awesome kit and mobile suit. And then on the far left here, I have the... Uh, high mobility Zaku 2 for Ortega with the giant heat hawk and the effects and everything. This one in particular is probably my favorite out of the origin Zaku's I built, but this is for all the Zaku uh, kits from the origin line that I built. I built four. I built a standard green one and I built the whole black Tri-Stars team. Um, Ortega is my favorite out of the bunch just because, you know, giant axe with effect piece and stand. How can you beat that? But they're all relatively similar, so they're all get a mention here. They're all really great kits, and if you're looking for uh, high grades Zaku's to build, look no further than the Origin line. So number ten, I have the real grade Talgis EW. Um, I've not watched Gundam Wing. I don't plan to watch Gundam Wing anytime soon. Um, eventually, I probably will, but I just don't want to right now. Uh, but I did get the kit because this is one released in 2018. I heard it was really good. A lot of people were praising it. And it is a really good kit. Uh, maybe at some point a little too simplistic for a real grade. Some parts are um, pretty simplistic. Um, it doesn't use a full real grade frame or anything like that. Uh, but it's still really cool. It's got a lot of nice gimmicks. There's a lot of moving parts and all that. Like the Vernier uh, boosters all have like these moving bits on it. Um, the shield has storage for the beam sabers, which you can manip move. Uh, the Dober rifle is really cool and has a lot of uh, cool gimmicks where you can blow back, do the blowback action of the barrel. There's multiple handles and you remove the clip. And it has a articulated arm for mounting on the shoulder, just like the shield, which is also really cool. And the beam sabers, you got two sets of different colored beam effects for those. Articulation's pretty good. Um, this is a really great kit. Uh, doesn't really need any paintwork or anything. The white uh, is a really nice sort of shiny pearly white which is really cool um, there's a really solid kit overall at number nine i have the gundam ground type from the hguc line which also came out this year as sort of a revive of the uh previous older high grade gundam ground type from 08th ms team i really enjoyed 08th ms team probably one of my favorite series gundam series um, I really like, this is one of my favorite Gundam suits, um, it just, I like the idea of a slightly more mass-produced, well not quite mass-produced, but a mass-produced uh, Gundam mobile suit that was used by grunts rather than just new types and whatnot. This was a more of a grunt Gundam suit, which I loved. It was seen, had a blockier, grittier feel to it, which I always, which I really like. Um, the articulation's really great on this kit. As you can see, I got them in a really, uh, natural looking kneeling pose and he's really solid he's not falling from that which is awesome the articulation is fantastic comes with a bunch of accessories you got the backpack which can store the giant uh cannon um and you get the shield which can stand up on its own you get the beam rifle the machine gun as well as the beam sabers which store in the legs it's just a really really cool kit um there's just a lot of good kits i built this year that were just better um there's also a little bit of, i have a little bit of salt Solidity issues with this. Uh, the midsection likes to come apart if you manipulate too much. Um, but aside from that, it's really fantastic and a definite recommend for me for high grade kits. At number eight, I have another kit that was released this year in the HUC line. It is the Sananju Stein narrative version. I haven't watched narrative yet. I'm going to wait till a dub comes out of it because uh, I just prefer watching dubs. Uh, don't crucify me for that. This kit's awesome. I really like the design of any Sinanjus. Um And I ended up, even though I think I prefer the look of the normal Sinanju, or I guess well, modified Sinanju, a full frontal Sinanju, I also, I really like this look of the Sinanju, and this is the better done kit out of the other high grade that I showed earlier. Um, this kit uses some P90 
pieces from that old high grade, but for the most part, he uses a lot of new pieces, and it just works better. He's got better articulation, feels that's slightly more solid and easier to pose. Um, the foil stickers aren't as much, and they're much easier to apply and still look pretty good. And the accessories are really good. You got the beam sabers, which can be stored in the forearms. You got the shield, the grenade launcher. You have the big beam rifle, and you got the hyper bazooka, which you can have him holding, or like you, like I have it here, you can have the bazooka on the bottom of the rifle, and he can still support the weight of the rifle and the bazooka together with one arm, which is pretty impressive considering the weapon's pretty heavy once you apply have both the weapons attached together, um, and just looks fantastic on display. Um, I really like how it looks a lot. Just an excellent, excellent kit. And at number seven, I have the HGC Revive RX-78 Gundam. The original Gundam I had to have on this list. Uh, one of the first ones I built. Uh, and it's a really fantastic high-grade kit. It's not expensive at all, uh, but it's a really solid kit. Really great articulation. Comes with a bunch of accessories. Um, there's really not much more you could ask for for a high grade. It's just an overall really solid kit of the original Gundam. And you got to have an original Gundam in your collection. At number six, I have the real grade Gundam Mark II from Zeta Gundam. This is the AUG version. And I really like this kit a lot. Um, once you panel on it and get the stickers on it, it looks fantastic. I love the look of the Gundam Mark II. Um... I just I I just like the sort of meaner look, basically a meaner looking Mark RX seventy eight. Um, comes with a bunch of accessories. Articulation's great. Gimmicks are really cool. Um, I love some of the intern the details that this thing comes in with, like the use of like the soft good cord kind of material to simulate tubing in the inner frame and whatnot. I think looks fantastic. A bit tedious to apply. But the build's fantastic. The final outcome is fantastic. Um, it's an overall really great kit, and there's a reason why so many people say this is one of the best real grades. And next up, getting to my top five now at number five, is the high-grade Thunderbolt Full Armor Gundam. Another one of my favorite Gundam suits, which is funny because when I originally was browsing uh, mobile uh, kits and mobile suits, before I was watching a lot of the series, I remember seeing this kit and thinking it didn't look the most appealing to me at first. Um, but after watching Thunderbolt, which I really enjoy, it's probably one of my favorite Gundam series right there. Um, seeing the full armor Gundam in action, it be quickly became one of my favorite Gundam suits. And the high grade suit, or the high grade kit rather, is really, really awesome. Uh, pretty solid, uh, nice heft to it, articulation's pretty good. Comes with a bunch of accessories. You have the double barreled beam cannon. Four shields, missile pods, two beam sabers, a giant beam cannon on the sh backpack, and another missile pod on the backpack. Uh, it comes with a display stand as well, because it kind of needs it. Um, but an overall absolutely fantastic kit. Um, I've considered getting the Verka Master Grade of this, but honestly, this high grade does it for me. It's just pretty good where I don't really need that extra detail. It looks fantastic. I'm really happy with this kit. And at number four, I have the HGUC Moon Gundam, another release in 2018. And I had to put it up high on the list here. Um, I wasn't sure if this kit was going to beat out the Sinanju Stein for being one of my favorites of 2018. But it beats out for being one of my favorites of 2018. It's just a, such a well-done high grade. It's, it's Some parts of it are close to real grade quality. Um, it's fantastic. There's a ton of places for panel lining opportunities um, the molding and the uh, color separation is fantastic. No stickers are included in this kit. Everything's part separate, parts and color separation. Comes with a nice amount of accessories with the butterfly edges, the beam tomahawk saber thing, the beam rifle, uh, the psycho plate, and all the different pieces and being able to do all this different stuff with the uh, Saikamu plates, which is awesome. Comes with Also comes with its own action base 5, which is fantastic. Um, articulation's great, uh, nice moving parts on it. The legs have full inner frames, uh, which is pretty fantastic as well. Um, are pretty close to full inner frames. It's just an excellent, excellent kit. And if this is the 
direction that high grades are going to. Uh, I can't wait to see the next high grades because they're going to be absolutely fantastic. I also really like this kit because it look it's the predecessor to the Sazabi, and I think Sazabi I gotta have. <laughs> So if you've been following me through my journey of getting into Gunpla, you might know, and this probably won't be a surprise to you, that the real grade Sazabi is number three. If I was doing a top of, of only 2018 kits, this would be number one. The real grade Sazabi is fantastic. In some ways, it is better than the master grade. In other ways, it's not. Uh, I still prefer the master grade. But um, this is an absolutely fantastic grade. It, I, it's my favorite real grade. I only have including this one, four so far. There are not too many real grades out there, but I only have four real grades so far. But out of the real grades I have, I think they're all pretty good for the most part. This one's my favorite, and it's just such a fantastic kit. Um, it's really big for a real grade. It's pretty much a, mass, a standard master grade size um, because of the in 144, it's just such a big mobile suit. Um, I love the red and the different colors of pla red plastic used for color separation. The real grade stickers work pretty well for this kit. Um, accessories, comes with a bunch of accessories, which is awesome. I love the beam Tomahawk saber and the big shield and the beam shot rifle. It has a bunch of gimmicks with sliding parts and transforming, semi-transforming parts and everything. It's massive. I just can't get over that enough. It's just massive. Articulation is really good for a kit or a suit that's so bulky. Um, really not much else to talk about there. It's just an excellent looking kit. A great looking, greatly articulated kit, great accessories. There's not much to complain about here. These last two in my list should be no surprise. The number two is the Master Grade Verica New Gundam. Fantastic piece. I just did a review on it, so go check that out if you want to see it more in depth. Um, but fantastic piece, a ton of accessories, great part separation, great build, great articulation, looks fantastic. It's just an absolutely excellent piece um, that I can't wait to put on display. Just looks absolutely phenomenal. Again, another favorite Gundam of mine. And then last but not least, again, if you're following me, this should be no surprise. My number one kit of the year is the Master Grade Verka Sazabi that I built. First Master Grade that I built. Pretty ambitious, I know, but Turned out really good. I got the effect parts for it. I even got the LED unit in there. Absolutely fantastic um, kit. And my favorite mobile suit ever. Um, and I don't think anything I've built will top this kit ever. I just don't think it will. Unless they make a perfect grade Suzabi. Um, I don't think they'll ever top this. Absolutely fantastic. And it's my number one of the year. So that's pretty much it to talk about. Overall, I had a really great gunplay year. Spent a lot of money, unfortunately. But I got a lot of great kits, um, a lot of great building. Got into a really awesome hobby that I'm really enjoying so far. And I can't wait to see what kits 2019 brings me. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how your gunpla year was in 2018, if you're into that. Uh, what kits were your favorite? I'd be love to know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and bearing with me, and I will see you all in the next video.